welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the also highly requested um, nail polish collection video. In my room time video, you guys were like, OMG, I need to see a nail polish collection video. Like, we want to see your nail polish collection. So I was like, might as well do it. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys, or not showing you guys, telling you guys some tips on how I got my nails to be really long. If you guys can't really tell, um, I'll do like a zoom up close. But my nails are pretty, pretty long. Um, pretty much everybody I, I like see in person, they're always like, oh, I love your nails. Nice acrylics. I'm like, nope, real nails. So, um, yeah, uh, I will be answering you guys' questions because I told you guys to tweet me your questions. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter because I'm going to be doing this a lot where if I upload a video, I kind of want you guys to be in the video with me by tweeting me your questions and I answer them. So if you want to check that out, the link will be inside of the description. So let's get on to the collection and then on to the tips. So over here is my makeup collection. Why did I just say makeup? Wow, such a fail. Um, nail polish collection area. So over here, um, I have my OPI nail polish. Let me focus it up. And then I have my white OPI nail polish. And then over here is the top coat that I use and it's actually by Revlon. And it is amazing. I actually have it on my nails right now. And um, it's amazing top coat and it's the Extra Life No Chip Top Coat. And then I have some Orly Nail Polish, another OPI, this nail polish, which is such a pretty color. I have my Essie, this, which believe it or not, it's actually a matte um, nail polish and it glows in the dark. I know, pretty snazzy. And then here we bring on the Zoya, right? So I have this color, all these colors. These are kind of like nudes. And this is another black color with um, tons of sparkle in it amazing amazing and then over here I know it hopefully focuses that is literally insane so those are all my SEs or well, not all of them I actually have more down there but um, I kind of color coordinated them actually hold on I lied to you let's make a little switch switcheroo there we go now it's color coordinated Woo! okay so over here I have just a glittery color and then it just goes down the line to like reds, kind of orange and then pink and then purple and then make candy apple and then all the blues and then this gold. It kind of comes out of nowhere but yeah. So those are all my Essies. And then um, over here I have two more Essies. This one is in the color Big Spender. It's actually such a pretty like rosy pink and then this color and all my Zoyas. I don't want to go through each name of the nail polish just because that would be like in two hour video. But um, I actually have this Zoya on this hand right here or this finger um, right now. It's such a pretty almost black color but it's actually like navy blue. Um, more Zoyas and then down here again more Zoyas. Why is this turned backwards? I don't know but this color is a pretty color too. It's a pink and it has lots of glitter inside of it. You can't really see that well, but yeah. Um, more Zoyas. And yeah, seriously, I don't even need to go nail polish shopping. It's all like right here. Um, but yeah. And then down here I have more nail polish. And this one is actually a matte blue, which is so cool. I just need to buy a matte top coat. People say that they sell them at American Apparel, so I kind of want to check that out. But yeah, so these are all my nail polishes down here. And then over here is just a neon pink Deborah Lipman color. Um, and yeah, more Zoya. So that is my nail polish. That is my nail polish collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. So now I'm going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks. So let's get on with it. What is your favorite nail polish cover? Cover? color for the summer um definitely mint candy apple by essie i seriously love that color not even just for summer but just in general i love that color so much by the way if my hair looks like i just have like some sort of white paper on it i do not it's a bow it's a, it's a little bow um sorry i just thought i addressed that because i i just feel like it looks pretty weird from this angle but if i turn to the side it's like oh yeah Oh yeah. What nail polish color do you have on right now? I have on this um, black nail polish color and it is the Orly color in, I'm not even going to say it, I'm just going to show you. There it is. Mm -hmm. That's what it says because I'm totally butchering the name if I say it out loud. So yeah, that's the color and I just, oh, I love this black color so freaking much. I've tried a few black colors but never ones that were like, mm, mm -hmm. and this this is that color. It's so perfect. It's so black. I just, I just, uh, I have an obsession with black nails right now. And um, actually, this, this finger, I don't know what finger you would call that, whatever. But um, it's actually not all black. It is this color. I don't want to butcher the name, so it's right there. 
Mm -hmm. That's the other color I'm wearing as well. So yeah. Your nails are so pretty and pointy. How do you get the shape of them? Um, for me, I would just like, I follow them in a really weird direction. If you look at my nails up close, you can see that they're kind of all like that. And um, a lot of people, they have their nails and it's kind of like wider. Um, I like to keep my nails kind of pointy just because I think they're a lot easier to manage, especially if you have like long nails, it's just a lot easier to manage. So whenever I file my nails, I don't directly file them down. I file the sides of them, if that makes sense. So I'll like file that side, file that side so that way they're not too wide and um, my pinkies are kind of like trained to grow in this way like if you look at my pinky it's so like that because I would always file it down like that so yeah um, for some reason this finger that's why a lot of people think my nails are fake because they'll see this finger and they'll be like oh her acrylic just fell off like no this finger for some weird reason it does not grow like I don't understand why all every other finger is like long and then it's just like this one. What made you want to grow out your nails so long? Well, there's a bit of a story. Um, back in, I think, April or May, I think it was May actually, I did a shoot with Style Hall um, for prom week. Um, you might have seen that video, I don't know. But, but anyways, I did a shoot with them um, and it was like for prom and basically, um, like I was like the nail portion of like that was like my segment kind of thing and so I got these really amazing cool acrylic like they were the coolest acrylic ever they had like the Chanel um, design on them and like beads and like a bow it was like everything I ever dreamed of and I was like these are amazing but they were like real acrylics like gonna last you like a month and a half if anything so they were gonna last me a super long time so they were super hard to get off and they were like totally glued into my nails and all this stuff and going into it they had to like trim my nails really really short anyways and I was like okay it's all good and then they put it on my nails and two weeks later I like got tired of it and I was like oh I want to take these off blah 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 and then I had to wait like an extra week because obviously it's not going to be like ready to come off in like a week and so when I took them off, I realized my nails were so weak and brittle that it actually hurt. Like, my nails were so weak and they were so short. And I was like, no offense to acrylic, but I don't think I'm ever going to get real acrylics done to my nails ever again. And from that point on, I started um, just using like a lot of base coats. Base coat and a top coat is what I live by when I do um, any of my nail polish on my nails you have to have a base coat that's like strengthening so I would use like just a base coat that was straightened I think it was from top secret the brand I think um, but I would just use that every single time and that was a base coat every single time I would paint my nails and then I would just continue to do that and now to this day my nails have completely grown out they're so healthy they're so strong and I never went back to acrylics again so that is my story so that is the end of my nail polish collection plus tips video I hope you guys enjoyed and leave a comment down below if you have any more nail questions because I might um, do another Q&A video and then I can answer some more nail questions so yeah just leave me a comment down below and make sure you thumb up this video it really helps me out it means a lot to me and I will see you guys next video bye